Hey team welcome to Ace Academy I'm Harini and today we'll be looking at the most important current affairs of April 10 2021 so without much delay let's get into the first question so the first question is 92% of target achieved in which phase of the PMAYG so the answer is option A first so the 92% of target is achieved in the first phase of PMAYG and this stands for Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Gramin this comes under the ministry of rural development and the union minister of rural development is Narendra Singh Tomar and about the cost the cost of unit assistance is shared between central and state government in the ratio of 60 to 40 in plain areas and 90 is to 10 for northeastern and the himalayan states so then moving on to the next question So the second question is Dr Harshwardhan Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare along with Arjun Munda Union Minister of Tribal Affairs virtually launched tribal health collaboration called so the answer is option B Anamia So Dr Harshwardhan Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare along with Arjun Munda Union Minister of Tribal Affairs virtually launched tribal health collaboration called anamia and the objective of this is to converge efforts of various government agencies and organizations to enhance the health and nutrition status of the tribal communities of india so then moving on to the next question so the third question is which ministry has signed mous with a department of animal husbandry to introduce ayurveda into veterinary science so the answer is option c ministry of ayush the national medicinal plant board of ministry of ayush signed mou with the department of animal husbandry and dairying for formulating new drugs using medicinal herbs for the use of veterinary science so then moving on to the next question so the fourth question is india participated in french maritime exercise la perouse where was it held so the answer is option c indian ocean so it was held in indian ocean the exercise took place from april 5 to 7 2021 in the eastern indian ocean region and was led by the french navy it is the first time ever that indian navy assets are participating in the french defense exercise the indian navy assets which participated in the exercises are INS Satpura INS Kilchen along with P81 long range maritime patrol aircraft so then moving on to the next question so the fifth question is india hosted a meeting of brics virtually from new delhi this meeting was chaired by so the answer is option c both a and b nirmala sitaraman and shakti kant das india hosted a meeting of brics finance ministers and central government governors it is sorry central bank governors it was chaired by nirmala sitaraman and shakti kant das this is the first meeting of brics finance ministers and central bank governors under india's chairship in 2021 and brics is celebrating its 15th anniversary in 2021 so then moving on to the next question so the sixth question is which of the following has become the fully electrified indian railway zone so the answer is option d wcr WCR has become the fully electrified Indian railway zone the electrification of the WCR was completed and WCR became the fully electrified Indian railway zone the WCR boasts a 
3012 root kilometer electrified network so then moving on to the next question so the seventh question is who participated in the second g20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting so the answer is option a nirmala sitaraman so nirmala sitaraman participated in the second g20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting and the g20 is made up of 19 countries in the european union these are the 19 countries and the blue color represents some of the guest countries and the chairman of g20 is mario draghi he is the prime minister of italy so then moving on to the next question so the eighth question is jenna small finance bank made a tie up with whom to offer banking and investment services to its customers through a three in one account so the answer is option b access security access security it is the wholly owned subsidiary of access bank and about three in one account three in one account integrates the saving bank account maintained by jenna small finance bank and dmat and trading accounts maintained by the Axis Securities. So then moving on to the next question. So the ninth question is, Renew Power Private Limited stated that it will invest how much in wind solar project through 2025 in order to help the government of India, India's green push initiative so the answer is option b 9 billion dollars which is approximately inr 67154 crores and the objective of this is to reduce the emotion and create climate friendly environment so then moving on to the next question so the tenth question is RBI has extended which money transfer facility to non-banking system operators? So the answer is option B, both A and B, RTGS and NEF. RTGS stands for Real Time Gross Settlement and NEFT stands for National Electronic Fund Transfer. Until now, only banks were allowed to use rtgs and neft payment facilities but now prepaid payment instrument issuers card networks white label atm operators and trade receivable discounting system platforms which are regulated by rbi can use neft and rtgs modes so then moving on to the next question So the 11th question is, the Reserve Bank of India extended the classified lending of banks to NBFCs for on lending under the priority sector lending how ma for how many months? So the answer is option C, 6 months. RBI has increased the PSL, priority sector lending limits for lending against NWR which stands for negotiable barrows receipts and ENWRS which stands for electronic negotiable barrows receipts from 50 lakhs to 75 lakhs per borrowers. So then moving on to the next question. So the 12th question is who has been robed in as the brand ambassador of Vivo? So the answer is option B, Virat Kohli. So Virat Kohli has been robed in as the brand ambassador of Vivo. And the other ambassadors of Vivo are Amir Khan and Sara Ali Khan. So then moving on to the next question. So the 13th question is, 
who has been appointed as the chairman of capacity building commission so the answer is option a adil zainul bai so adil zainul bai has been appointed as the chairman of the capacity building commission the chairperson of quality council of india was appointed the chairperson of quality council of india adil zainul bai was appointed as the chairman of capacity building commission it is also known as cbs it was established by the government of india under the national program for civil services capacity building also known as mission karma yogi to impose major reforms in bureaucracy so then moving on to the next question so the 14th question is who has been appointed as the prime minister of niger so the answer is option b ohumadu mahamadu ohumadu mahamadu has been appointed as the prime minister of niger the newly elected president of niger mohammed bazoum appointed ohumadu mahamadu as the new prime minister of niger so then moving on to the next question so the 15th question is who launched the madukranti portal and honey corners of nafed cooperative market national agriculture cooperative marketing federation so the answer is option a narendra singh tomar so narendra singh tomar has launched the madukranti portal and honey corners of nafed The Madhu Kranti portal is an initiative for National Bee Board under the National Bee Keeping and Honey Mission and the technical and banking partner of this digital platform is Indian Bank and Narendra Singh Tomar is the Union Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare so then moving on to the next question So the 16th question is MYNEP 2020 platform for receiving digital consultation from various stakeholders for preparing a draft of two policy related to teacher skill development the first policy is national professional standards for teachers and the second one is national mission for mentoring program membership was launched so the answer is option a ramesh pokhrial so ramesh pokhrial has launched a portal or a platform my nep 2020 for receiving digital consultation from various stakeholders for preparing a draft of two policy related to teacher skill development that is kpst and nmm and ramesh pokhrial is the union education minister so then moving on to the next question so the 17th question is renowned educationalist and journalist fatima rafiq zakaria passed away she was the recipient of which award for contribution to literature and education so the answer is option a padma shri So the renowned educationalist and journalist Fatima Rafiq Zakaria is the recipient of Padma Shri. So she received Padma Shri in 2006 and cause of her death is age related ailment and she was 85 years old. So then moving on to the next question. So the 18th question is National Romani Day is celebrated on so the answer is option B April 8th and the International Romani Day 2021 marks the 50th anniversary of the first Romanian Congress held from April 7 to 12 1971 and it was held near London so then moving on to the next question so the 19th question is Hamari Sadak and Tamir Turki mobile app was launched by so the answer is option C Manoj Sinha the app was launched by Manoj Sinha 
So then moving on to the next question. So the 20th question is Ladakh administration LAHDC and SCCI sign MOU to set up 50 megawatts solar power project at so the answer is option A LA. LAHDC stands for Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council and SCCI stands for Solar Energy Corporation of India Limited. They have signed a tripartite MOU for setting up the 50 megawatts solar power project at Taru Lay district and it is a step towards making Ladakh carbon neutral. So that's it we are done for the day and thank you for watching our video and if you think that we are doing good please let us know in the comment section below and I'll meet you in my next video till then bye it's me Harini signing off.